Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay sasagutan natin ang aking random math challenge number 5. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so meron akong random math challenge number 5 which is application ng differential equation sa electrical circuits. Okay, so basahin natin yung tanong. Suppose an electrical circuit has voltage source supplying 15 volts and a resistor of 15 ohms and an inductor of 5 henrys connected in series as shown below. Furthermore, assume that the switch is closed when T is equal to 0, that is, I is equal to 0 when T is equal to 0. Find the instantaneous current I flowing through the circuit. Okay, so ito raw yung circuit natin. So, meron kang 15 volt source. Then, meron kang connected across that source na in series na 15 ohm resistor tsaka 5 Henry inductor. And then, meron kang switch. And then daw, at T is equal to 0, can lose mo raw yung switch. So, ngayon, dahil naka-close na yung switch, meron ka ng closed loop. So, therefore, may dadaloy na current. Ang tanong, ano raw yung current I? O ano yung equation ng current I? So, masasolve natin to gamit yung differential equation. It is a first order circuit kasi meron kang isang inductor. Okay? So, para magawa natin yon, apply muna natin yung KVL doon sa loop na to. Okay? So, let's do that. So, summation of voltage is equal to zero around the loop. Right? So, applying KVL, we have negative 15 volts plus voltage across resistor VR plus voltage across inductor VL equals 0. Okay, so sinunod ko lang yung passive sign convention na considering this direction of current, ang sinunod kong polarity ng bawat voltage ay kung saan papasok yung current I. So, sa 15 volts, sa negative siya papasok. So, kaya negative 15. Dun sa VR, sa positive, pumasok. Kaya positive VR. As well as dun sa VL, sa positive, papasok yung current. Kaya positive VL. Okay? And then, ngayon, i-represent natin itong equation in terms of current I. So, sulat natin ulit yung negative 15 plus itong VR, di ba using ohms to, it is equal to RI so, yung R natin ay 15, okay? And then, yung current natin ay I, okay? Plus, itong VL, di ba meron tayong formula for the voltage across inductor na L, D, I, D, T? Okay, so ito yung gagamitin natin. Yung L natin dito ay 5, okay? So, magiging 5, D, I, D, T equal 0. Okay, so transpose natin itong negative 15 sa kabila. So, magiging ano na yan? So, unahin ko lang dito yung 5DI. Ah. 5DI DT plus 15I equals, itong negative 15 magiging positive 15. And then, divide natin both sides sa 5 para walang numerical coefficient yung uh, DI DT. So, magiging DI over DT plus, this time magiging 3I na lang equals, itong 15 magiging 3 na lang din. Okay, so therefore, nakabuo tayo ng differential equation. Itong differential equation na to ay linear. Kasi it takes the form dy over dx plus p of xy is equal to q of x. Okay, so this time yung y siya yung i and then yung x siya yung t. Okay, so ba same form niya yan. Bali yung px natin dito, ito yon yung 3. And then, yung qx natin dito ay yung 3 lang din. So, kung susolve natin tong linear differential equation, ganito yung gagawin. Hanapin mo yung integrating factor. So, integrating factor is equal to e raised to integral ng p of x dx. Okay, so, apply natin yon So, ang integrating factor nito, bali, ay e raised to integral ng, di ba ang p of x natin this time ay 3? Okay, so, since ang variable natin ay t, diba? So, dt yan. Okay? So, magiging e raised to 3t. Okay? Ngayon, i-multiply natin tong integrating factor both sides dun sa equation. So, we have di over dt 
plus 3i is equal to 3. So, multiply natin both sides doon sa integrating factor. So, e raised to 3t, e raised to 3t. Okay, so, itong left side, magiging ano na lang yan, exact differential na yan. Magiging ano yan, derivative of e raised to 3ti. Okay, kasi kaya tayo gumukuha ng integrating factor para maging exact differential siya. So, ito yung magiging form yan. Equal siya sa 3e raised to 3t. Okay, so, multiply natin both sides by dt. Okay, so, makakancel dito si dt. So, ito magiging differential na lang ng 3ti is equal to 3e raised to 3t dt. Okay? Ngayon, para masolve natin yung equation for i, integrate natin both sides. So, itong left side magiging e raised to 3ti na lang. Then, yung right side magiging integral ng 3e raised to 3ti, 3e raised to 3t over 3 right plus c. Or simply, cancel yung 3e e raised to 3t i is equal to e3t plus c. Ngayon, divide natin both sides by e raised to 3t. So, magiging i na lang yung left side. So, magiging i raised to distribute natin tong e raised to 3t. So, 1 plus c e raised to negative 3t. Kasi dinaas natin yung nasa denominator na e raised to 3t. So, magiging negative yung exponent niya. Okay, so nasolve na natin yung equation explicitly for i. So, ito nga. I is equal to 1 plus C e raised to negative 3t. Kaso hindi pa tayo tapos kasi kailangan muna nating makuha pa tong C. So para makuha natin yon, gagamitin natin yung initial condition doon sa given problem. Ito yun, di ba? When T is equal to 0, yung I daw ay equal siya sa 0. So gagamitin natin yon para masolve si C. So di ba sabi, when T is equal to 0, i is also equal to 0. So, pag sinapsitit natin yung t na 0 dito sa equation natin, dapat ang value nung i ay 0. So, 0 is equal to 1 plus c e raised to negative 3 times 0. So, magiging 0 is equal to 1 plus c e raised to negative 3 times 0 is 0. Ito, any number raised to 0 ay 1. So, magiging 0 is equal to 1 plus c. So, solving for C, we have, transpose natin ito sa kabila sa magiging negative 1 is equal to C. So, therefore, C is negative 1. So, yun yung sasubstitute natin dito. So, I is equal to 1 minus 1 yung C, diba? So, E raised to negative 3 T na. Okay. Itong negative 1, siya yung C. Okay. So, kaya naging 1 minus E raised to negative 3 T. So, ito na yung final answer natin. So, therefore, i is equal to 1 minus e raised to negative 3t. Okay? So, that's it for this problem. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.